down. Do I discard a Krogus out of the gate? That's so tempting. I'm going to because it, it's really hard if, to judge what the heck someone is doing when they discard a Krogus. If someone discards a card, I'm thinking Dragon, maybe a Varna's Pact. I'm not really thinking it's Krogus. Now, on the flip side, had I just had I played the um, Leafkin and then dropped a Death Weaver, that'd have been pretty darn good. So, you know, perhaps that was uh, a little too cute, a little too next level, but I don't know. I, I still kind of like to play. And if he kills that Evan Skull because he doesn't want to lose the Ice Mage, then I've got a very good turn. Uh, I get to Varnus pack the Ebon Skull back. I'll just put him in lane three. And then I'll Stiggy and Lotus fill all the other lanes. And bada boom, bada bing, we got a full board. That's not bad. Though. No. Uh, I don't play Star Wars LCG anymore. Um, I enjoy the game as um, a sort of like a, a friendly game with my buddies but I, I don't actually like the game as a competitive game I don't know if that makes sense uh, what I mean by that is, is I feel like it's a fun game but I feel like it's a it's a fun game like when you try to play it competitively there's just way too much luck involved in the Star Wars LCG uh, for my taste and it's a taste thing right like I'm not saying it's a completely luck oriented game. It's it's I view it much like poker where you know the better player wins the majority of games uh but the way that tournaments are structured it doesn't necessarily matter. You can get you know bad things can happen and then you know get knocked out. Stop losing. Um I believe I won my last Star Wars event Red Squadron K. So yeah. There's that. I think you, you conveniently forgot that. That night where I brought home yet another Mara Jade playmat. Gave it to my daughter to roll Dice Master dice on. But I do enjoy playing the game sometimes with uh, Red Squadron and Ben and the gang. Uh, they're good guys to hang out with. Uh, Star Wars LCG is one of the many cool games put out by um, Fantasy Flight Games. LCG means living card game. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do this. I think I want to Lotus first and then Pact post combat. Then we get a full board. And then I get. The only problem with that approach um, is that it's very likely I get a Lotus, just a singular Lotus. <laughs> ice Mage. Ugh. I think I would have rather had a singular Lotus than an Ice Mage in this deck. I've got nothing with that guy. It's kind of unfortunate because... Um, hmm, no, never mind. I was going to say something foolish. I'm not going to say it because it was foolish. Alright, so I got the crush going. I could go... Ebon Skull, Roar. Yeah, it's a cool game. I, I really do like the design of Star Wars LCG. Um, I like that it's different from a lot of other games. There's a lot of cool elements to the game. Uh, but it is a very swingy game. And if you're fine with that, then it's fine. The problem is I play Soul Forge also, which can be swingy at times. Uh, and it gets to be a bit overwhelming to play multiple games where uh, crazy swings happen. I am probably going to discard this Krogius. And I don't really want to give him a chance to level another Crush. I don't really have that much else to do. I mean, I'm going to play the Ebon Skull, and then what? I'm going to play a single Stiggy and Lotus to the board? I'm going to discard a Krogius.
Well, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to pop the level three and do some crazy things with it. The one problem is Yetis is one of the worst decks to play Krogius against. Because he has so many different ways to kill it that are non-level gated and that can be incredibly frustrating to end up losing him to crazy situations. Alright, so we're going to kill the Ice Mage. And who knows, maybe we'll get a Lotus. Hey, we got some Lotuses. We got some Lodi. 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 Lodi, I guess we'll go with. That sounds good. We got some Lodi. Uh, Roar doesn't save that Lotus, but it gives me some other decent Lotus. They'd be out of Warlord range. I don't think he got a Warlord all of player level 1. It's kind of crazy. Uh, the thought was... <sighs> Leafkin dies and is troubling against zombie decks. I tend to not like to play little cards on the play like that. Um, by play, by discarding the Krogius there, I gave my opponent no information, tempted to him to make some pretty serious blunders on the first turn. Uh, this is actually an article I'm considering writing called something like Losing the Game Turn 1. Uh, and it's kind of this idea that you can actually lose the game the first turn or first two turns of the game if you make poor leveling decisions. Um, and it's it's one of the hardest elements of the game uh, that people struggle with. And if you can provide a situation for your opponent to do that to themselves, it's even more powerful. I'm going to override him. And that was my thought there. Giving him an opportunity, or her, um, to make a misplay and level incorrect cards because they're not sure what I'm doing. Whereas a Lotus, I mean a Leafkin is, it's decent, but I don't know, there's a lot of stuff in the meta that can kill it immediately. For instance, Yetis can Warlord it right off the bat. Zombies get to exploit it. Oh yeah, I do the same thing. Um, like if I'm playing an NT deck, one of my favorite plays, turn one, likes to play a Phoenix. Uh, I play a Leafkin a lot, I just don't... Basically if I'm on the play turn one and I have no information about my opponent's deck, I generally try to make the safest play I can. Um, it's kind of a, a Weasley way to play Soulforge. Like it's, it's not an aggressive way to play. I, I tend to play... A little bit more cautious. Uh, perhaps, you know, perhaps I could even be faulted for being a bit too cautious at times with how I play. Uh, but that's generally how I do things. I don't really know what to do here. I could Lotus, which uh, won't kill anything. No, I guess it will. I could kill the Warlord. So we'll Lotus here, and then I'm going to Shallow Grave, and I'm going to hope that he pops in one. Oh, yeah! I got your big Lotus! Uh, so I don't really care that much about um, the Warlord as much as I care about my own Death Weaver getting huge. Booyah! That's a big Death Weaver. See, Roar was a reasonable thought. Um, everyone gets big, I kill his Warlord. But I'm much less interested in killing his Warlord uh, than I am getting a giant Death Weaver. Hmm... Yeah, exactly. I mean, I feel like Phoenix is such a cool card to lead off with because there's so many different things that it could be. It could be anything. Uh, and, and as soon as you get your opponent into a mindset of they could be playing anything, I feel like you have uh, a bit of an advantage. And this is a heck of a 3.1. Holy cow. This is one of those 3.1s that if, that if you lose the game, you're like, what happened? How did I lose that one? And I certainly could still lose this. Like if he goes 
you know, Warlord, Warlord, Warlord 3. All I got were some cruddy Stygian Lotuses. It's not like I had, you know, some bonkers, like... Usually when people play packs against me, it's like, Death Weaver, Death Weaver, Death Weaver. Okay. <laughs> and I got a Crocus. But if he goes, like, Ice Mage, Warlord 3, he wipes all my stuff out and has an Ice Mage. So he would completely neutralize what I'm doing. So while it looks like this game is over, it's actually not. Um, while Evan Skull looks amazing, I'm going to roar just to completely take the board and basically say you better have some sick stuff happening so this is the coolest part his jaw probably dropped right there Krogius 3 where did that come from you've given me no indication that you have Krogius even in your deck and now you've got Krogius 3 I never played a Nuwata I never played anything that would make him even think I had a Krogius all I played were Lotuses so there we go that's ball game. He's he sees the Krogus and goes, nah. Nope. 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 No more. Forget that. 